days with Between Wild Landscapes and Deep Blue Seas. This is the sixth album, I believe, by this band. Um, I came into them from actually um, a single off of this album, which was um, the uh, track Oblivion. So um, I was just uh, browsing through Spotify, this uh, track came up on new metal releases, I took a listen, and um, I kind of liked it, I thought it um, sounded really good. Um, obviously because I didn't know much else about the band and that was the only single out at the time because that was the first one that dropped, I needed to go and see what um, I was in for, where they've come from, how the sounds have changed and developed. So I went through their previous catalogue, so uh, the album before this, um, I listened to a few clips uh, through songs, I just kind of, you know, ran through them to get um, a gist of an idea going. And I was pretty underwhelmed, it was pretty disappointing, absolutely bland, extremely um, empty of originality. Um, I went to an album previous to that, it was a tad better, but as I went through all the old albums, it was basically everything was old school, what you would have heard, you know, in the 80s. And it's basically just a band these days, so just 80s style music, just with a better production thrown in, you know, with a different uh, vocalist to what you may have heard, but it's sung in the same style, it's played in the same style, it's things that have been heard for a lot of years, seeing that it came out originally, this kind of sound and everything, in the 80s. So, it just was bland, it lacked originality, it was boring, I heard it before, it's become sort of kind of cheesy, just, you know, this formula just constantly done and trying to copy something that was unique back in them days, it just comes across as a little cheesy and a little pathetic. So, with Oblivion, um, it wasn't like that, it actually had a modern sound to it, it had um, synths to it, it had, you know, um, an orchestra, you could hear, you know, violins and stuff. So, it actually was modern now, it wasn't living in the past, it was going in a modern direction and um, doing something new that hasn't been touched on as long as stuff in the 80s has been done and is still going on today. Like modern stuff, there may be a lot of bands that copy each other, but it's been going on for a lot less amount of time, therefore it's not as bland yet. It's a little stale, but um, not overly. So, other singles started dropping. Uh, we had the first track, Destinations, drop, which is the track uh, you will be hearing uh, now under uh, me speaking. And um, it starts really great. Um, them you know, um, orchestra, violin stuff that is playing along with their, the band, it's just so hard hitting, so aggressive and so direct that it just has such a punch to it and um, the beat is obviously just right in your face because the beat is, you know, up there, it's the perfect dun 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 so there's not a lot of faffing and, you know, things going along trying to show off, it's just this great beat and everything with the band and the um, violins and orchestra and things, making this really big epic sound. And it just sounds huge. And then going into your uh, verse and everything, um, you get the first um, view of the vocalist, which is great because previously he's been trying to mock singers of the 80s. Now he's basically just trying to actually sing properly without trying to mock a style. He's just singing and just using his natural voice. And he sounds great. Like, I don't know why he hasn't done it for the previous five or so albums. He sounds way more organic and natural here and just free. Instead of like completely restrained and focusing on trying to copy and mock these other uh, vocalists. So. It's um, a pretty soft verse, but um, it shows a fair bit of range, uh, the first song off the bat, for his voice. You've got um, his soft side, um, nearer the uh, pre-chorus, before the chorus um, hits, he uh, opens it up into this really uh, soaring high. And then the chorus, it's uh, this, you know, kind of catchy, um, slight pop-ish kind of thing. You know, just trying to keep it all musical, big sound, you know, energy and stuff. 
after that you actually get a bit of play from the guitarist as well so you actually have some kind of fun going on just giving a bit of life to it and then you've got another solo later so um, that's usually the thing that um, goes through um, the album and uh, the guitarist will sometimes do leads um, after the first chorus and then you know after the bridge and um, sometimes even in the end um, you know fiddling around um, underneath the chorus which um, definitely gives a bit of fun to the um, you know sound of the album in each track and each track does go for a unique thing like Destination Child a soft verse and then Oblivion and it's a little bitter you know heavier in its verse and then it's always dark before the dawn, you've got um, a bit more, you know, melody and everything. It's more of um, a proper focus on melody as for destinations. You've got, um, you know, heavy, heavy chorus and then the soft bit is just in reverse there. So there is variation and there is lead sprinkled throughout and then the singer is great. I love the sound with the synths that they've now brought in. I love the sounds of the... Um, you know, the orchestra that they have it really adds amazing energy in this great soundscape that um, really does them um, well instead of uh, the previous albums that are just, you know, bland and lack originality. But here's the thing, um, as I was listening, like, Destinations, I enjoyed it. Oblivion, I enjoyed it. But it's the thing of, you know, it's your intro, it's your verse, it's your chorus, back to verse, back to chorus. A little bit of a bridge, or maybe, um, you know, miss out the bridge, go straight to solo, end on chorus. It's the typical formula, so even though everything's, you know, quite energetic, and then you've got some of your melody stuff, the formula is quite simplistic. And it comes across that way, especially if you're a person who comes from more of the progressive metal side, which I've kind of been in. Um, recently, I've been in really long, epic length tracks that just are all over the place. And then going to songs that are like around the four bloody minute mark, three minutes, it comes across as very simple and lazy kind of structuring and songwriting. Like they just lack ideas to kind of grow the song out. And yeah, they're not a progressive band, but uh, you can have bands that aren't progressive that do have uh, bigger songs, um, of course. But it's just, it comes across as a bit short and simple, so even though I enjoy it, it kind of wanes on me, that little aspect. And then to add on the negativity here, I'm afraid, um, as I progress, you get to It's Always Dark Before the Dawn, which is, you know, it's the love thing. It's a beautiful melody, it um, talks about, um, you know, heartache, love, you know, that general thing. And does it sound bad? No, it's perfectly fine. But the problem is, is how many bands have done a love song? Near enough, every band that exists on the planet and has ever existed has a love song. Therefore, it has been done to death and it is unbelievably stale. If you are going to do a love song, it has to be unbelievably well executed, well nailed, and extraordinarily unique in other aspects. You know, the, mus the musical playing, the um, singing, just doing something new with it. But as for this, as I said, it's simple structure. It is basically just uh, your verse and your chorus and then a solo and it's all melody and you know it's all the kind of emotions and things. And it's just like, oh God, I'm sick of this. It is so cheesy. I'm fed up of it. I'm bored. So it's annoying. And then again going through, um, it's 12 tracks I think and it, the album lasts 50 minutes. Now, again, as I've said, I've been listening to albums that um, are like an hour 15 over um, an hour long uh, recently. So 15 minutes, yeah, I understand it is a decent length, but it actually comes across as a little short now. But as I was listening through, I got to like, what try one, two, three, four. I got maybe five, four tracks in, and I started thinking, guys, oh, it must be coming to an end, and then I realized I'm not really halfway in because I'm only on track 5. Now you would think, wow, you've got so much more to go, but the, 
the reason I thought it must be coming to an end is because I was kind of getting bored. So the thing is, it's simple structure. There is not a lot of intriguing stuff going on in the songs. Yeah, you've got your kind of lead solos, you've got your lead sometimes at the end of the song, you have a lead sometimes after the chorus. And that is great, I'm glad that they do do that. But that's kind of it. You take all that out and the songs are pretty basic and like any other band. Yes, it's now the modern take, but there are a lot of modern bands doing the basic formula. So you still need to change it up. I prefer it because, as I said, I am stuck. it stuck out to me with Oblivion, but that's because the modern thing. It's modern. The 80s thing has been going from the 80s all the way into 2019. This kind of new modern sound is still relatively new, but it is kind of starting to wane. So... That's the um, problem here. Um, you've got very simple formulas and um, song structures. The choruses are all that basic formula of what a chorus sh is, and not what choruses should be and what you should do with them and coming up with unique ideas. When you approach a chorus, if you're not putting much thought into it, it's something that is catchy, memorable, musical, fun. And that is near enough every chorus. Every chorus is this big, catchy, fun thing. And if you think, well, if it's catchy and you're having fun with it, then why is it bad? It's just like... A game can be fun. A film can be fun. A bouncy castle can be fun for people. But when you are doing it over and over and over and over again, you will start getting bored and you'll want something new, something bigger, some variation. You'll get sick of the same thing. And that is kind of what I started doing through the album. The choruses, even though they sound different, because they're not like complete clones of each other, they are all you know, approached with the same mindset of you know the big open choruses and it's boring. And yeah, the song structures are basic, they're short, um, there wasn't anything interesting going on. Um, the um, orchestra sounds great and everything, but other than that, underneath, um, things are just, you know, just, you know, real cool beat. So it's just cool beats and, you know, orchestra giving, you know, the life to the music and the synths giving it the unique sound. Take them out and it becomes even more basic because there's not much musical going on, there's not musical layering. You could have your, mus your musicians play simple, but it has to be well executed. But what they're doing is just, you know, simple, just try and do a unique sounding beat. And then as I say with the guitar leads, they all sound great, but then there's another problem with that. All the solos is still going for it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fast, it's gonna be energetic. And with solos always like that, they start becoming bland. And that's the problem. At the start of the album, I had fun. Yes, it was lacking in things because it's not as big, but it was just a short, simple, fun thing that didn't use a lot of brain power and a lot of focus. It's just something I can just listen to and just be like, yeah, there's nothing special to it, but it sounds good, I'll just listen to it. And then after a while, it just becomes rather boring, because it's like, everything, to me, just starts kind of merging together and blending together, becoming one. Nothing is uniquely separated from each other. There is nothing new. There's nothing interesting. I've heard it before. I'm getting bored. So, that is basically the problem with, um this release. Oh, by the way, it came out today. I don't know if I uh, mentioned that earlier. The album dropped today. I have um, listened to three singles a few times. I have listened to the album. But um, there's not much there for me to really listen to and, you know, delve into. Like, all the songs are approached in the same manner of their uh, structures and um, layering. Um, all the solos kind of go for the same mindset. All the choruses have the same mindset and everything. Therefore, it has a good 
sound to it. It has a good vibe, but that is mostly just because of the synths and the uh, orchestra, along with just interesting beats, and that gives an interesting soundscape. But again, music, there is so much to it. There is structures, layering, productions, there are sound effects you can do, there's obviously the orchestras, there's vocalists with massive ranges to um, pull off, and then bass and drums and guitars, all the variation that lays in there, like just a guitar, it's one instrument, it can do so many things that the most talented guitarist alive, it will be able to still learn new things. So when it's just like, let's have a um, catchy beat in every song. Let's make every chorus, you know, a, a big catchy epic thing. All our melodic stuff is going to be the typical love thing. All our solos, the fun and energetic stuff. And it's like... It's bland. There's no variation. There's no showmanship of skill and, you know, talent. So all you're left with is basically after the first three songs or something, it's just like, there's a good singer, the guitarist actually does some unique things that gives, you know, energy and life to some of the stuff, but he starts, you know, not really changing it up at all. Um, the orchestra is seriously like the best part, as well as the uh, synths and things. But um, then after that, there's nothing really there. And that is basically uh, the album you get. They've gone from doing the 80s thing that is done to death, it needs to end, I think it has to stop because it's a certain style, a certain way, certain layering and then everyone clones it. This is modern so it's not been done as much but again there are so many bands doing the modern thing all cloning each other. It's just not been as, you know, done as much. So it can have a bit more give to it, but I'm fed up with it. And I'm seriously fed up with the 80s thing. So I like the new approach, I like the fact that the vocalist has changed, I like the new soundscape that they've got going, the new vibes. I like the new direction, but musically you need to seriously think about opening up and doing something unique and new. There are so many bands out there so what makes Hollow Haze different than the rest? What makes you better than the rest of them? If it's solos, no people do solos, what makes your solo so unique? If you can't answer, then you're not unique. Vocalists, there's so many, what makes you unique? Structure, what makes it unique? All these things. You can't say what is unique and special about the album, it is basically just, well it's a fun sounding album, then there's loads of them, there's nothing unique about it. So, yeah, unfortunately I was pretty disappointed with this release. But on the plus side, like, I do prefer this change. It is a change for the better. The orchestra, great idea. The synths, great idea. The new um, singing style that this guy's going for, he sounds a lot better, way more improved. I do like that there's leads, but I just want to see some variation with it and not just, you know, the same stuff. The melodies seriously have a different kind of concept and idea and approach with it because, God, they've been been get done for generations, absolutely years. The Year of the Caveman, seriously, there was probably love um, songs like that. It's ridiculous, so you need to really think about your melodies. But the first three tracks, there is some fun with it. This album is fine, it's just there is nothing special in it whatsoever. It is just basically listenable and it's not gonna irritate you. You will, you know, be fine with it. You're just not gonna get a lot of thought provoking stuff or great interest in musicianship. It's just gonna be something you can just put in the background and it's fine. Nothing really else to it. So, scoring the album, it's going to be a, a 6.5. It's above average, but as I said, there is nothing overly 
amazing about this, unfortunately. So, good new direction and uh, some things that I like, but execution is massively flawed and uh, uniqueness, there's still nothing really unique or original about this. So, that is the final things I have to say, so uh, thanks for uh, watching, um, and I'll see you in the next video.